Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm gonna to be talking you through what I am taking on a four hour car journey for my 15 month old daughter who is just in her little rocker. She uses a chair now, so let's crack in. I'm taking everything in this bag, which is by Nika. It's just a little like rucksack bag and it's a really deep sort of filled bag. So I figure I can fit everything inside without a trouble and then it's easier to carry on my back we're not really going to be going anywhere um like while we're at our location if that makes sense we're going to see my 96 year old great aunt um and we're just going to go out for lunch and take her out for dinner and sort of just do that so we're not really going to need the push chair so i'm taking this little blanket this blanket i absolutely love it it's a crocheted blanket which my mum and john actually made john's my husband um, when I was having my c-section in recovery him and my mum sat and did this and sort of finished it all off so absolutely love this and this is Daphne's like comforter so she's going to be having that in the car with her then I might as well move on to food it's literally just all around me like spread gonna be taking water for obviously Daphne so she gets thirsty quite a lot of the time so we're gonna be taking a big two litre bottle of water and then filling this up throughout the day just so she's got enough water to keep her hydrated so snack wise I don't pack like healthy snacks because Daphne's 15 months she'll get fruit everywhere and I just pack sort of neat snacks that if they do make a mess they're not going to get juice everywhere and things like that so they're not the healthiest of snacks um I do realize that but I know they're snacks that she'll eat and she'll enjoy so and obviously she won't eat all of this this is for obviously two car journeys for, for four hours and then any sort of snacks while we're there so i picked up this packet of cheese savories they're just like the little shapes and daphne really loves them and i'm gonna bag everything up that's in sort of big packs like this in like little plasticky bags just so they're like portioned out and i know how much she's sort of having so those are going in with us and then i also have a bag of raisins i never buy the small packets of raisins I just think they're so expensive what they are. I mean, they probably are a lot more handy than having like a big bag and having to bag everything up. But I think it's just more sort of savvy and saving money savvy to buy the big pack. So we're going to be taking some raisins with us. Next, I have these little chocolate brioches. They're like individually wrapped. Um, and Daphne will have half one of those at a time because obviously they are quite big. Um, and again, I just thought they're nice, quick, easy snacks that we can just sort of be dishing out. Then I have two of the Ellis Kitchen pouches. This is the mango pears and papaya. And then I also have the blueberries, apples, bananas with vanilla. If you can hear Daphne in the background, she's having a bottle, kicking something around because she didn't want to go for a nap. So yeah, those are coming with us. Then we are stopping off for lunch halfway. I'm obviously going to be making multiple sort of stops. We'll probably stop about every hour. At service stations and things so i did pick up the heinz by nature sunday chicken roast just for when we do stop off for lunch and she doesn't necessarily want to eat something at the moment she's teething four teeth and she's being a little bit of a nightmare with food so i packed that um on the same teething route we are taking cowpol and neurofen and teething gel and teething granules the nelson's teething granules are a lifesaver so those are definitely coming with us in the bag Obviously wipes, wipes you're gonna need for everything, nappies, food, face, everything else like that. So I'm taking some wipes. Nappies are on the floor somewhere. We're taking a big pack of nappies and then we haven't got to worry then if we run out. Um, pay, taking a spare change of clothing, which is actually hanging up to dry at the moment. And I've got a spare change of socks. Um, we're taking a dummy. Daphne doesn't really have a dummy. Um, we've never really been one to sort of really try and push for her to have a dummy or sort of given her one if she's been asking for one we just really sort of try and avoid having dummies but for car journeys if she has had one she does seem to sort of soothe with it so we do sort of pack them if we're going on like a long car journey then it is clothing a few more clothing items a hat apparently it's supposed to snow this weekend like what we've just got over like a massive snowstorm so i'm taking her little hat this is a jojo mama baby one and it actually does up at the bottom but the buttons popped off which was really annoying so i need to sew that back on she's got a little hat i want one like an adult sized one <laughs> that's so cute um then we're also taking her little coat 
It is just a little tweed coat. I absolutely love this coat. We got it at a craft fair. Just looks like this and it has like the little pink detailing. She just looks so cute in it. And me and John actually have not matching. Mine and Daphne's are slightly matching, but John has just a normal tweed coat and mine is like the same kind of green and it has got pink in it, but mine's also got purple in it as well. So taking that and that is an extra small and the company, if you wanted to know, was Shire Classic. I'll show you. If I can find the link for it below, I will try and find the link for it because I don't know if that focused that well. But it's such a cute coat and it's perfect for like cold weather. Then last but not least, I think I have toys. We are taking, she's actually already taken one of them, but the two, two animals she absolutely loves. Um, I think me and John know all of the songs for all of the two, two animals because she just has them all the time in the car whenever we go anywhere. It's like a nice distraction. We are taking Mr. Bun Bun. It has a little rattle inside. Again, this is one of Daphne's comforters. She sort of like snuggles into it and it's just really, really cute. So we thought if she does have a nap, which hopefully, fingers crossed, she will, this will be a lifesaver as well. Um, this is one of Daphne's dollies that she's had from when she was born. Her auntie Megan got her this and she absolutely loves it. So obviously can't go on a trip. There she is, can you see her? Have you finished? Would you like to come and say hello? you got a grubby face. <gasps> Who's that? Can you see? Look at that. We're also taking this, which is a little um, wooden... Let me just show people quickly. It's just a really a little wooden caterpillar. Ah. There you go. Okay. Um, again, just as a ah. distraction, now she's going to go to her like toy area. Bless her. We're taking a maraca. This is just a little Peter Rabbit maraca. We had two of them and one of them's in the toy box. We're only taking one because she can't quite grasp at the moment that she can do this. Um, we're taking some board books with us. They just look like this. They're the Alma board books. And again, Daphne loves books. She absolutely loves books. And she loves like the pop-up books or with the flaps. But if she's left by herself, she does tend to tear the flaps off. I've got so many books now that haven't got like the little flaps. <laughs> keep saying flaps. Um, so I just thought these little books are going to keep her occupied for a little bit. Um, I am packing another item, which is the iPad. Again, I never wanted to be like an iPad user with Daphne, but... I think today, or not today, but by the time you see this today, um, I think it's going to be a must for the four hour car journey. Um, on Netflix, you can download films and like TV series, TV series, TV series, this? TV's episodes, <laughs> TV shows um, onto your iPad or onto your mobile device, I suppose. Um, so we're going to be downloading um, Sophia the First, what else does she like? Peppa Pig, which I can't stand um like Paw Patrol all the different things Peter Rabbit loads of different shows so that she can just have that on repeat if she needs it if she won't settle and everything else is boring her and then my last little thing is this we actually got this from Sainsbury's it is one of like the magnetic -y board things um which you can like swipe clean and I just think Daphne loves drawing and in the car this is going to be amazing it was two pounds um, which was really really good value it is you can definitely tell it's two pounds like it's not sturdy and the back I just it's like you get what you pay for really so this is just like a first one we got it just to see if she likes it and she loves it so we are definitely going to be getting a sort of bigger screen part and a better one um, but yeah, that is what we are taking with us. That is the end of my video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, like the video, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment with what you'd pack for your 15-month-old or your child on a long car journey. Uh, Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye. Uh, Do you like that book? It's yeah. a good book. Is it? Chocolate face. Hey. You can have that one now. Yeah. Daphne, can you look here? Can you do it again? Daphne, do it again. Daphne, so cute. Daphne, do it again. Let me see. Hold this. Ready? Do it again. Do it again.